Shares of space data business Spire Global crashed hard in the SPAC boom aftermath after debuting in 2021, but they're coming back. A good grind the past year as the shares up 70% and after two earnings, one report this past week that added on more strength to the rally. Rejoining us is the CEO, Peter Platzer of Spire Global ticker SPIR. Peter, welcome back to the show. Been a couple years. Good to see you again. Excited to be here. Excellent. Thanks for having me. All right, you guys' shares have gone on a, a pretty wild ride over the last couple of years, but it seems like after the kind of SPAC implosion that brought a lot of companies down, you're still kicking, and you've got a couple earnings behind you that the market's really liked. Tell us what's happening. I think the key differentiation that Pavel really appreciates is not just that we have a business that is generating revenue, but that we're on a fast track to becoming profitable. And over the last two uh, earnings calls, we have been able to demonstrate that, that we're getting closer and closer to that. And then in the last one in particular, uh, showcased a very, very strong positive cash flow from operation and reaching uh, a profitability on an EBITDA basis, just an EBITDA basis, faster than anticipated. And, and I think there was a, there was a lot of uh, really pleased investors with that, uh, with that result and outcome. Yeah, you lost less than the market was looking for. They expected you guys to report adjusted earnings of negative 720. You guys oh, lost 58 cents, better than expected. It seems like the trajectory is there. It also seems kind of early, frankly, to, to prioritize this. You guys are doing about $30 million of quarterly revenue from the last report. So do you just want to have a real tight ship from the get-go here to make sure every dollar you're making goes to the bottom line? It's a little bit what it means to be European. We have like this strange <laughs> notion when you build a business, it is meant to generate money. <laughs> and so we actually have been talking about becoming profitable and have given a timeline almost two years ago, but it definitely was not very much of uh, It has changed a little bit um, how much investors appreciate moving towards profitability. And we have just steadily held the course, making, I think, smart trade-offs between growth and profitability but given the massive demand for our products have been able to continue to grow you know, quite rapidly and showing up with over 30% growth here recently. Mm. And where are the uh, sales coming from? Who are your big customers and what are they buying from you? So they're all buying uh, both uh, very, very valuable data from us, be that weather data or be that ocean winds or be that you know cargo shipping information or uh, a flight routing information. Uh, and it uh, it comes really from all across the globe. Customers uh, of Spire, we've got over 800 customers. They're coming from uh, from over 50 countries. And it's about half of it is from government, which is using our data and our services to generally you know, improve life, be that uh, helping uh, the countries protect from, uh, from climate and weather related impacts or in the global security domain. And about half of it is from uh, commercial entities that use us to improve their bottom line, improve their carbon footprint, um, and uh, uh, very often also increase their revenue by using our predictions and capabilities that come off of very large satellite constellation. Mm. Uh, I saw you recently were awarded a few contracts by a European Maritime Agency. I imagine that governments uh, are interested in your data. I also, uh, I would think like insurance companies too, to some degree, as far as like weather goes, is that, uh, are those customers? All, all of all of that is indeed correct. So when you see some of the announcements that they're making with uh, with seven and eight figure contracts, they tend to be more often from government because they let us talk about it. But we do have very, very substantial customers on the commercial side as well, uh, some of which are on the securing side, but some of them are customers that are, are using Spire's infrastructure the same way as other companies, including ourselves, are using Amazon's infrastructure to run your data uh, business. You know, they are these customers like, uh, 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 you know, some of them would be announced that are working on wildfire detection and working on greenhouse gas detections that are working on protecting the space environment, the space situation awareness data are using the Spire infrastructure to run the data business on. And, and those businesses have very, very high growth rates as well mm. as a demand for those solutions be that you know, protecting space or protecting Earth from climate change and impact has seen increasing interest and dramatic growth uh, demand that then results for us both in the top line, but also in the bottom line improvements. Okay. 
It sounds like uh, you guys have a decent stable of customers here to allow you to make the moves you need to uh, move the profitability, get in the market's favor that way, separate yourself from the pack of uh, pre-revenue and non-earnings businesses. Uh, hey, Peter, you got like a good space fact for us? Give us a little sample of the data, something interesting we don't know. Well, um, one of the interesting things is that uh, we talked recently about is that in Europe, um, flying commercially is getting more and more interesting and tricky because uh, due to some of the conflict that is happening, uh, many places become uh, GPS jam. Mm. And when a commercial jet uh, reaches into an area which is GPS jam, then all hell breaks loose. You know, they pretty much have to try to land and not really able to keep on flying until the GPS is reset. And that uh, uh, has a massive impact on the flight patterns that you see over Europe. Mm. And actually was a reason why Spire won an almost $20 million contract to see uh, uh, how our services can provide here a next generation capability to make civilian aircraft flying in Europe um, and across the world you know, more safe. So is it uh, giving them tools they don't have to rely on uh, standard like typical GPS data or what? That's exactly right. It's the ability to geolocate those a aircraft and tell them where they are without them having to rely on GPS. Wow, neat. Very cool. All right, thanks, Peter. Appreciate the check-in. Best of luck, and we'll follow up again. Sounds good. Thanks so much. Have a great evening. Absolutely. You too. Peter Platzer, CEO at Spire Global, ticker SPIR.